This is warrior three. We'll start by stepping back into our crescent lunge, reaching the arms up, and then shifting our weight onto our front foot. We come into a balance. And the goal here is to have the back foot, which is flexed, toes point down, the same height as the arms. So to help with your balance, you can bring the arms out to the side like an airplane or back, jet airplane. It's a little more challenge to bring them forward with the palms facing each other. One thing you want to look out for here is that the hip is not opening up. A lot of people think that they just want to get their, their leg as high as they can. But what we want is the inner thigh of the left leg lifting towards the sky and to keep the foot flexed. So inner thigh lifting up, foot is flexed. The area between the shoulder blades is relaxing down. And then we come up. Returning the mountain pose, let's take it on the other side. <clears throat> we'll shift our weight to our left leg and step back with our right foot into crescent lunge. So reach the arms above, really sink the hips into this lunge, and then start to shift the weight into your left foot bringing the arms forward to counterbalance your right foot that's coming up. So the right foot stays flexed. You can have your arms straight forward like this or out to the side. That may better help you balance or to the back like jet airplane. And really notice here what this left hip is doing. It often has a tendency to go like that what you want is the left inner thigh to be reaching towards the ceiling. That's gonna make sure that the hips stay closed and level. From warrior three, we'll bend the front knee, step back into crescent lunge, and then forward into mountain pose.